So Mel, I have, it's Melissa Dela Cruz for those who do not know, <laughs> senior mentor. She has been with us since like, forever. Yeah, like almost 17 years. Yeah, 2005. And I know I look 30. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> she was 12 when she started. And, <laughs> but we want to discuss a couple things is, I love speed. Like I love to teach speed, yeah, and sometimes, Mel, I get people a little kickback, a little kickback. People think that that's just me, or yeah. that's not how other people roll in salon. And I know I haven't been in salon for a while, so I wanted to ask you, what is your top things that you would tell a new nail tech, a vet nail tech, anybody, on how to increase their speed in salon? The first thing, sometimes when your clients come in, they don't know what they want. My clients need to know what color they're interested in and maybe design. Most of my clients let me do what I want, but there's some that are very particular, want this certain design. They need to have it ready so we could roll right away. It could take up to 30 minutes when they're picking a color. Oh my and gosh. you know that. So that you've really- seen, You've seen those memes, right? Or like the, the nail text is skeleton because the person's picking a color. <laughs> That's a good one, it's yes. So it really could make you sweat because you're left with a little time to do their nails. So that's my number one. Just know basically what you're wanting. And number two wait, is- wait, before we go on, oh, okay. I have a question about that though. What? How do you do that? Like, like how do I communicate you, with them yeah, with it? Yeah, how do you do that? Pretty much like, like when they first come to me, I tell them um, what length, what shape, what style do you like? Could you send me a couple pictures of what you're interested so in? So text me. Yeah, so it's all through text, which is great because then I, I have a heads up for booking time. Um, maybe they say a general cost of the service. So it really knocks out a lot of things. So that's how I know how to start from there. Sometimes they'll come in and change the color, that's fine. But the whole design and if I've marked off for that, then it's still fine if they change the color. They can't change their mind to short nails from long nails. I if like that, that makes I sense. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Number two. Number two is as you work, it, especially when you get into a lot of art and you're using a lot of different things, you're doing a dimensional nail, you're doing a glitter press, you're doing a marble all in one set, which is for real. That's what we do lately these days. <laughs> so you end up with so much stuff on your desk. What I do is as I work, I put my stuff away when I'm done with it. It's huge because at the end, when I'm done with my client, I would have so much to clean up and that takes time. So I find there's two things that come from that. My station always looks clean. Believe it or not, it looks pretty much dust free and clean most of the time and I'm doing a dusty service. And it's because I clean up after myself and I put it stuff away while they're under the light or while I'm getting my next thing to use. So that's huge for me. So multitasking. Multitasking. Like, like use that moments when your client is busy and you can't be doing anything, you're, you're, you're doing something. Doing else. something, it could be cleaning up something or putting something away, that's huge for me. It's also nice with your clients, you'll get complimented on it, that how nice and tidy your station's kept. Like so that's huge. Number three. Number three is doing things twice. So let me break this down to you. And I actually got better at like realizing doing things twice, how much time it cuts off because I recently trained somebody that's worked with me um, it's my husband <laughs> and I noticed I had the time to watch him work recently and I noticed he was doing some things twice and it was filing twice meaning I applied the nail he applied it he built it then he got his file and he filed his sides okay filed the sides a little which is not wrong it, it when you first learn sometimes you need to do that but then you get in a habit you need to push yourself to just go straight into your drill bit so um, it knocked off 25 to 30 minutes off his time. That's because huge. He, he really is. And he's super proud, a little pep in his step too, because he does amazing nails, but he would take like 45 minutes longer than me. Now he's like right at me or 15 minutes less or more, right. sorry, I should say. So it really makes a difference doing, thing, doing things twice. So for instance, too, if you're using a drill bit, um, you don't want to, you want to finish everything with that bit before you go on to your next thing and get another bit. So that's uh, really that, huge. That to is me. huge because OWC, we see that a lot, right? It's yeah. Like they pick one thing up, they put it down, they go to another thing, they pick it up, and, we, and that that's that's a huge speed technique. Is it once you're done with something, walk away from it, leave it alone. We want we don't want to keep repeating ourselves. Yeah, I also notice prepping. They do that. Oh. If you're new, 
And this happens because I did it. You probably did it too. I would prep the nail and I think, oh my gosh, they taught me that way, but that went way too fast. I'd get out my file, file again, then get out my, my electric file and barber band again when it was done the first time. Right. So it's just something that you learn as you, as yeah, you go. kind of our worst enemy, enemy yeah. right? Like we, we like, especially when the client's breathing down and you feel like all this pressure, they're probably not even thinking about it. They're probably Absolutely. thinking about what the drinks they're going to have after the appointment. <laughs> That's true. And you're like, oh, they, they thought that went too fast. So we repeat it. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So I know we said three. three, but like, is there anything else that's like, really you think people should know? As far for, as for time? Yeah. For time. Um, yes making sure i kind of touched on it a little like saying changing her color um my clients when they make an appointment say a full set long stilettos and then the day before she she um her appointment she confirms it and then she comes just like you know what i think i want short natural well the thing is is i book out that time and they can't change their mind within 20 before 24 hours mm -hmm. i mean after 24 hours i should right. say so then that way I could move my schedule or fit somebody in. So that helps me maximize my day to where I could get as many people, cause you're gonna have a waiting list. Once you build your clientele, you're always gonna have somebody you could fit in there. You could fit a toe service in or even a whole new short set. So managing your time and letting them know that you don't just tell them, well, no, you're not because they don't understand. You kind of have to communicate with them. Right. And I just tell them I'm booking this much time for you. And this is part of my introduction when they're sending me pictures. So I tell them I'm booking this much time. You'll be with me for this long. Um, if you change your mind on what you're wanting, I need to know because I could put you in a, in a smaller spot that doesn't take up so much time. If you don't let me know within 24 hours, then you're gonna pay for that whole service. And that's just part of, as you build your clientele, you're able to do that, but you have to communicate with them about it. I you can't just huge, drop right? it on them. I, I like that. So it's not really yeah. that the fact that it's a time saver, it really is because if the communication is the time saver yes if you've is. already communicated your policies and all that you won't be wasting your time and, and there's explaining no questions it to them while they're there i like that and it's interesting they've told me i've never had anybody get in such detail with their business running their nail business um i run it very differently and it's partly because it is my business i love doing it but when i'm at work i want to work and i want to make my max dollar and then i want to go home to my family if i'm sitting around i'm even more tired at the end of the day or i'm thinking i could have got off work earlier or i could have came in later either or so it's just learning how to maximize your time and time communication and how to run your business i like that I, we kind of got a little more into a little business too along with the speed time management huge help yep. i think to anyone starting out or people that have been doing it for a very long time I would love to talk to you more. We, there's so many questions we can ask Melissa because she's been doing nails for a very long time and she's she has so much experience, but we'll end it here and yes, maybe we'll get her happy. back another time to ask her more questions. Right on, I'm, I'm up for it. Thank Thanks. you, Mel. You're welcome. Hey guys, what's going on? We hope you love our videos. Let us know in the comments below what you want to see next. To see more, head over here. To subscribe to our channel, head over here.